The soaring incidence of Alzheimer's disease is a growing public health and social care crisis. To date, there are no treatments available to delay, reverse or stop the progression of the disease. And the only hope for patients is through treatments which help to address some of the more advanced symptoms of the disease, Sue Saville reports. With Alzheimer's disease, what's going wrong in the brain starts long before the person becomes aware of it. Changes may begin 15 to 20 years earlier, with the build-up of two proteins, amyloid beta and tau. Understanding how this happens opens the way for early diagnosis and possible intervention. The biopharmaceutical company Neuroimmune is working to translate human immune memory into transformative therapeutics. Roger Nitsch is the CEO and president. What's the effect then of the build-up of these proteins on the brain? Amyloid beta is a small protein that is constantly produced in our brains. Uh, and it usually has a very short half-life. In less than 20 minutes, it is degraded again before it can become harmful. Now, in contrast, in Alzheimer's disease, uh, beta amyloid accumulates over time and becomes harmful. Nerve cells then react to that toxicity by trying to fight it in a very long process that involves additional cellular uh, reactions, including neuroinflammation and the assembly of tau into neurofibrillary tangles. And in patients with Alzheimer's disease, the brain cells ultimately lose that battle and start to degenerate, which then results in the disruption of synaptic connections. False information is transmitted in the brain and ultimately the nerve cells die. As age is the biggest risk factor for dementia, our increasing life expectancy is driving the numbers up. Already, at least 50 million people worldwide are living with dementia. And by 2050, that figure is expected to rise to 152 million. In the labs of the biotechnology company Biogen, scientists are working to find innovative solutions to alleviate dementia, the second biggest health crisis for society after cancer. It's known that we can reduce our chances of dementia by getting good sleep, daily exercise, improved cardio function, cognitive stimulation and maintaining a healthy diet. But the need remains for an effective treatment. Samantha Bad Haberlein, who heads the Neurodegeneration Development Unit at Biogen, says identifying early signs of brain dysfunction is key for diagnosis and possible treatment. So mild cognitive impairment is fairly common in older people over 65 anyway. Why is it then so important to pick up on this early? Mild cognitive impairment is the term we use to indicate that somebody is having measurable issues with their memory. Um, but that may not be Alzheimer's disease. So it is important if you do um, detect mild cognitive impairment to then confirm what's the cause of that. Is it due to Alzheimer's disease or is there another cause? There's a couple of reasons why we think it's really important for patients to consider getting their diagnosis early. One is really for the family themselves to start to understand what is the basis of their disease. That, that's always an incredibly important aspect of, of a diagnosis. For Alzheimer's disease, it may also mean being prepared as a family for what might come, um, getting things in order, um, understanding what can be done to help the individual or the family uh, at different phases of disease. Scientists motivated by the devastating impact of Alzheimer's disease on individuals and on wider society, committed to finding a way through the tangle and complexity of this degenerative condition, with the hope, one day, of a means to averting its progression.